Hello everyone, this is Steve O'Reilly and Gail Saunders with Skinny Post TV and today's question is, are the Bears smart for not paying Matt Forte or should he be paid? Gail, what do you think? Um, I think from a business standpoint, if you're going to look at it that way first, uh, and like you had said in an earlier video, running backs come a dime a dozen in this league. Uh, they have Michael Bush to uh, push the envelope. Um, I think it sucks from Matt Forte's perspective, uh, seeing that he, you know, it was hardly hurt. Uh, he got hurt for four games. Um, you know, there's some rumors about the arthritic knees, you know, whatever. I, I think Matt Forte's deserved, uh, done so much to deserve a new contract, hasn't said anything. He just rolls out and does what he does best. Uh, he's a top five back. I think when you look at his situation, it's like, come on, pay the man. I mean, but they they don't have to. They'll give him that 7.7 .7 mil and say shut up and play. But, I mean, that's still $7 million ain't bad. But it's, it's a good business move for him and his family. So, I don't know. It is a tough one. I think... You know, I see both sides of the fence. You know, Forte was so important to the way Chicago plays football. You know, they have that tough Chicago Bear mentality. You know, he grinds out the tough yards. They play tough defense. They have tough fans. You know, that he's got that spirit about him that the city embraces, and they love him to death. But at the same time, as you alluded to, running backs are easily replaced, and they're also easily injured. And you have to believe with all the weapons that Chicago is bringing in for Jay Cutler, this team's going to air it out a little bit more. I mean, they didn't give away two-thirds and bring in Brandon Marshall because they didn't want to throw it more. You know, they're not bringing in, you know, other weapons for him to pass to, you know, other guys that they've gone out and brought in uh, on the outside. I think that you're going to see them throw the ball more. I think they know in order to beat the Packers, in order to beat the Lions on a consistent basis, you have to put up points. And while running the ball is important, you also alluded to they brought in a good running back already. And maybe a lot of people don't know how good Michael Bush is, but he's good. And, you know, he can he can tote the rock and, and do what they need done. So it's a tough situation because of the things that he has done for them. You want to reward him and give him his money, but at the same time, you can go out and get another running back when you have Jay Cutler and Brandon Marshall and all these other pieces in, on, on that offense. You know, you can go out and find a guy to run the ball and, and get you your, you know, 4.0 yards per and be happy with it. So I think the Bears are being smart, but I also think Forte's being smart and making sure that he gets the contract that he needs in order to, you know, take care of himself down the road because he does have some issues with health concerns as any NFL player does, especially running backs. They're getting drilled every time they touch the ball. So Yeah. I mean, it's got to be tough when you see Arian Foster and LaShawn, uh, LaShawn McCoy get a, a guaranteed, you know, like almost 21 mil, and then you're sitting here with your $7 million deal, and you just have to eat it. I mean, like, he, if he comes back next year, they could also franchise him again. Uh, that would definitely suck. I mean, but from a business standpoint, you can, you can get you can get them for cheaper than you know what you know the uh, Eagles paid and uh, Texans paid for their running backs. So yeah, and at the end of the day, it is a business. But I mean, you also have ownerships are very worried about you know how does a guy re react when he gets that money. You know, I mean, everybody was saying the same thing when Chris Johnson went for 2,000 yards. You know, he, yeah, he was Chris Johnson. Gonna... Chris Johnson and Matt Forte. That's They're two bit. different players, but teams look at production. And you got a guy who went for 2,000 yards, but fans said the same thing, Gail. Oh, he's only making this. He's giving them so much value per her. And yeah, he's on well, a rookie uh, deal, all that Matt, stuff. From what I heard, Matt, Matt Forte and Chris Johnson, two different beasts. They are, but I'm saying what owners look at. They look at a running back, and a running back to them is a running back. It's what value is he going to get on third down? Is he going to fumble the ball? Is he going to you know, sustain that contract? And yeah, if you can go out and get a running back in the second and third round, you know, if you can go out and get a guy like Lamar Miller, 
he's taken in the fourth round, and he's a really good back, fastest running back in the combine. You know, you can yeah, Matt, Forte, Matt Forte's never rocked gold teeth, and he almost rocked, got 2,000 yards. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I, it's a difficult situation for both sides. But to answer the question, I think the Bears are being smart, and I also think Forte is being smart. Play hardball. Make them show you how much you mean to them by breaking out the checkbook, and yeah. we'll see. Hey, Matt Forte, I'd pay you from the heart right here. There you have it. I'm not even a Bears fan, but I would pay you. Yeah, he's earned it. I mean, he definitely has. He's a good player, and he's hard-nosed, and he gives them what they need. So we'll see how it all plays out. I'm Steve O'Reilly. That's Gail Saunders. This is Skinny Post TV, and as always, we're giving you the skinny 24-7.